Welcome to part 20 of the Kicho Wong Dong series. In this episode, we're going to be looking at the Chundan Kunyuk, also known as the Chundan Juriki, which is the basic step forward center punch in front stance. Now, this is one of the most basic techniques we have in Tang Shudo. I did another episode on the Pop Ki, which explained how to uh, punch with your fist, and that will give you a lot of basics in that, so I'm gonna skip over all that. If you haven't watched that episode yet, please watch that one first. We're gonna go straight into the stepping forward and punch. So to warm up, I would always recommend make sure your papa key is strong first, make sure you're hitting with the two knuckles, make sure your two hands are rotating and you're pulling back. The main problem that students have when walking forward is they get confused between the blocks and the punches, i.e. the punch coming from your waist. So practice stepping forward into your front stance first with two hands here into a front stance and then make sure your punch is straight and that is going to the solar plexus. A lot of times the targeting of the punch will go off to the side or to the shoulder. It should either be going center to the solar plexus or the philtrum for a high punch. So always use your own body as references for your punches. As you put the technique together now, the idea to do it very slowly to make sure that from Chun B, you are stepping forward, bring your hand in, bring your shoulder back like you're loading up an arrow, and then stepping forward into the stance and punching at the same time. The punch should land with the step and you should stay level, not coming up and down. Uh, when you are breathing, you should breathe in as normal and breathe out with the attack uh, in one fluid motion. Practice going slowly first and then once you have it, start putting some power into it and really get some snap in there. I think a big problem with the punch is when something isn't in front of us, we find it hard to visualize. So start off um, on a pad or with a partner in front of you um, to visualize and then take that visualization, your line work, and this will help you to focus on the punch. When you are doing line work with this center punch that you always turn back into a low block, uh, two reasons for this. One is it is incredibly difficult to turn back into a center punch and make sure it's correct. And secondly, um, the, the punch is an aggressive move. And as we turn back, we normally would like to do a more defensive move at basic level. So when you're doing line work, you'll go up and you'll punch. When your instructor asks you to turn, it's a low block always. So some common mistakes I see is that the punch does not go straight it comes out like a block or around to the side because basics have been learning these blocking movements which have an angle to them. They start putting an angle in their punch, so either from low to high or high to low or around to the side or straight out more like a hammer fist. Try and keep your punching line straight. The fastest distance between two points is a straight line, so make that straight and make it uh, fierce. The next common mistake is that people do not know what to do with this other hand. Uh, they're quite good at the twisting with the blocking, but when they punch, their hand is lazy or it's open or they just they just don't know what to do it. It's forward, they're not pulling it right back. Again, you're grabbing something in reality, pulling it in and punching so they cannot get away. So again, please visualize this either with a partner or as you're doing your line work. The third most common mistake is uh, people's stance being too narrow and also rising up and down in between the movements. So make sure that you're going through your stance, through your center of gravity, and punching straight forward into that very specific target. So try not to raise up and down, and try not to have your stance too narrow, or leave your hip back. As you punch, your hip should be square, exactly like Papa Keep. Once you feel that you have the technique down, it is then important to test your punch. So uh, a good game for this that I find to help uh, students focus on the punch with a partner, stand forward, in guards up, and then come forward and do a reverse punch. Now I know this is a variation on the punch, but what it helps the student to do is to twist their waist. It helps them to understand being in the front stance, and it also helps them with visualization. They're not looking down at the punch, they're looking straight forward at their partner. I punch towards you and then your partner punches back and you do this for 30 seconds a minute with left leg forward and then you change stance and do it on the other side and it's quite a fun game and for seniors it's also a good conditioning game where you tap your partner lightly on the solar plexus and you can let your partner know that was on the ribs, uh, that was right on the solar plexus, that was a good shot so it helps you with your targeting as well to know the punching area. 
The next test is um, conditioning. A big thing that happens when you punch something is that your wrist will bend. So again, for juniors, please do it only on a soft surface like a wave rider, a pad, or a bob. Uh, for seniors over 16, you can start to incorporate knuckle push-ups um, into your practice. But again, if this causes you pain, uh, do not do it. Uh, maybe again, start on mats instead of a hard floor. And then you can start hitting something called a makawara board or something that has given it um, but it's going to strengthen your wrist so when you punch something your wrist is not going to uh, break. It's very important that when you punch your wrist stays strong. The third and final test is going to be a grappling exercise where you both grab each other's shoulders. For the purpose of this drill the person who's going to perform the technique is going to be on the outside. All they do is take one hand on the inside and grab the shoulder. Now what this is going to do is you're going to realize the mechanism of one hand going forward and one hand going back like a punch holding on with the fists and then you're going to take the leg forward that does the punching past your opponent into front stance at a 45 degree angle. So you're facing your partner, you're on the outside, you take one hand on the inside and then you step forward in a front stance and push all at the same time just like a front punch and it has all the mechanics while practicing the correct body mechanics for it. So see how you get on, take it slowly and when you feel more confident you can speed up. Thank you for watching this tutorial on the Chundan Kunyuk, uh, the center punch. I hope you found it useful. If you're enjoying the channel please subscribe and share about the video if you want to see any techniques in the future uh, please leave a comment below and once again thank you for watching thank you very much thanks